day in the life of Sadie Adler. So, the time is just a little past five in the morning. Uh, Sadie's just waking up. Nice bottle of water in her hand. No, that is not alcohol. So, uh, obviously it's a great morning at camp. So the first thing that Sadie does is she gets a nice cup of Joe. What's up, Hosea? God, would Reverend just shut up? <laughs> Reverend, shut your goddamn mouth. Let's have our coffee. Let's get up, Sadie. As you can see, I'm all dripped up in my pajamas right now. Of course, these are my sleeping garments. A little room here would be nice. Oh, uh, sorry. I just, um, I see you as a father figure. I just wanted to, you know, be a little close to you if that's okay. Enjoy my coffee. All right. I'm done now. What's next on Sadie's daily agenda? Well, I think the first thing to do is to get some proper clothes on. Just clay change my clothing here. There we go. Outfit of the day. I like the look of it. We all know that Sadie loves killing. And she also specifically killing O'Driscoll's. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what we're going to start out off with. Goodbye, gang. I've got work to do. Wait, hold on a second. What is Bill doing? Get up, you lazy bastard. Damn, Bill is lazy. Dude, his day in the life is literally all sleeping. All right, so currently the gang is camped at Lemoyne. Now the Adriscals aren't really camped out here. This is more Lemoyne Raiders territory. So I think to get to the Adriscals, we're gonna have to go towards New Hanover. We're gonna just try to find any gang hideouts we can and just clear them out. What's this? Hold on a second. I'm supposed to be going for Adriscals, but there seems to be something happening on the horizon. What you looking at? March along. Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Kill him. Kill him, Sadie. You don't mess with me. Good job, Sadie. Currently, I'm running with a carbine repeater and a cattleman revolver and a Schofield revolver. Th these are the only weapons I ever see Sadie using during the story. So I think that kind of makes the most sense. Uh, let's go loot them while we're at it. Obviously, I think Sadie's a good person. I think she's the type of person to donate a lot to camps. Everything that I make today during my outside of camp endeavors, I will donate to camp. All right, now back to the O'Driscolls. Uh -huh. Through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. It's time to cook. Hold on, I'm coming to you in just a second. Wait a second. You gotta click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. What was that? Come on. Oh, I think Sadie cut his balls. Dude, he's bleeding out. Whoa, what is he doing? Yo, she freaking straight up castrated him. Good job. Oh god, the cops are on us. Okay, we should probably finish him off. Wait a- Good job. All right, let's get out of here. Come back, horse. Wait. All right, that was only one on Driscoll, but I got to get out of here. I'm not trying to get too much law enforcement on me. There's no reason to kill innocent people. I don't think Sadie would kill innocent cops. We're just after the gang members, so we'll come back around here when we lose them. Oh, we have accrued a little bit of a bounty, but it's not a problem. I do have a little bit of cash here. All right, I've made my way to the post office. We should be able to pay off our bounty here. Sup, cowboy? Think you can keep from beating folk this time? I'll try. I'll try. But if they're O'Driscoll's, it's no promises, bud. There we go. I think Sadie still has a bit of thirst for O'Driscoll blood. So let's go kill a few more O'Driscoll's. It's almost like they got scared. Like they just sensed Sadie coming and they just like ran. Like there's no way there's only one O'Driscoll in the entire town of Valentine. This is like one of their main hubs. Any O'Driscoll's in here? Goodness gracious. All right. I think there's only going to be one way we can solve our O'Driscoll bloodlust. Uh, I've been to this place in many of my videos before, but it's just like a guaranteed O'Driscoll spawn. It's like O'Driscoll heaven called Hanging Dog Ranch. Yeah, let's just give that a try. All right, here we are. The O'Driscoll blood bank. I'm going to do what it took so long for her to do in the story. We're going to do it now in chapter three. By ourselves without Arthur's help. We're killing everybody here. Now they will... Oh! All right, hold on. I may have been off more than I can chew. Chill, 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 chill. Okay. Oh, God, they just started shooting. They already knew what was going to happen. All right, this is actually... This is really unfair. It's got to be at least, like, 15 of them there. You killed my husband! And you will pay. What you doing? All right, load up, load up, Sadie. You're a better fighter than Arthur. I know you can do this. I, th I think we're nearly winning. Oh, yes, the screams are perfect. Oh, why is she holding the rifle? Yo, pause. Why? Is she? Okay. Okay. Uh, Sadie, I don't I don't think you're supposed to be holding the rifle that way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, crap. I got somebody with a machine gun. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't get hit by that. Let him stop. Let him stop. 
Oh! Get wrecked! You know what? We're gonna go a little bit medieval on them. You want some of my tomahawks? Come on. What are you doing? What are you stumbling for? That was for my husband. There's only a few left. I'm gonna leave one of them alive. Oh! You're trying to- you're trying to tackle Sadie? Oh, Alright, let's do a little bit of melee. Oh! That's enough out of you. Get tackled! <laughs> I don't know why it's just so funny to watch Sadie, like, absolutely tackle and manhandle a guy twice her size. <laughs> I wanna see what it looks like when she picks him up. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Sadie, I did not know you had that kind of upper body strength. Good for you, girl. Alright, that's pretty much everybody, but I did leave one of them alive, uh, because I want to torture him a little bit. Alright, so we got a little bit of nice open road here. My torture is going to be pretty simple. I just want something that's simple, yet effective. So, uh, let's quickly uh, let him go for a second. Uh, just for a second. Get the ropes off! Get your filthy ropes off! Oh, don't worry, I'm doing it. He's going to run away. Obviously, he's going to try. Alright, there we go. Come on, let's go. Oh, yes. Keep going till he dies. Hopefully he stays alive for a good bit, though. He might go unconscious, though, just simply because of how traumatizing this probably is for him. Come on, dude. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're just going for a nice little ride. Don't you find this fun? Oh, don't mind me, mister. He's playing with some old Driscolls. You know what it is. Oh, I think he finally died. He must have hit his head on one of the rocks or something. Well, time to take out the trash. Uh. Bon appetit. Eat. Eat, it's a perfectly good meal, eat it. I will not rest until this O'Driscoll is inside your body and is pooped out of your rectum, okay? Yo, this alligator does not care. Uh. Ah! Goodness gracious. Oh my God. Give me out, give me out. Get me out! Get me! Oh god. Come on, fight! 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 <sighs> okay, that didn't go exactly to plan. My hair is a little bit dirty. I think Sadie Adler is probably the only character badass enough to survive an alligator attack. She was inside the alligator's mouth and survived. Good job, Sadie. I think I've had enough of alligators, though, for today. I'm traumatized. All right, well, it's currently a little past 4 p.m. Yeah, because of that alligator attack, I think Sadie needs to take a bath because there's still a lot of mud on her shirt and her hair, and it's not. It, it doesn't look great. I'm very interested to see what it looks like when Sadie takes a bath. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? <laughs> I'll never get used to Sadie with Arthur's voice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, honestly, it kind of fits, to be honest. Okay. Uh, where's Sadie? Oh, come on. They literally just make her invisible. <laughs> it's like Rockstar knew that someone was going to try this and they were like, nope, nope, not for you. <laughs> Imagine, bro, what is happening to the bathwater and the soap? All right. Can I offer any assistance? Sure, but there's nobody here, so good luck with that. Good choice. Good choice. Damn it, I so wish she was showing right now. Honestly though, if she was showing right now, this video would probably get flagged. So it's, it's probably for the best, right? Like I'm not trying to get banned off YouTube. <laughs> Bro, I can't even. All clean, changed up into a different outfit. Sadie's bounty hunter outfit, actually. Well, let me just grab some food really quick. Sadie's starting to get a bit hungry. I like completely skipped breakfast and lunch with her. I'm sorry, Sadie. Let's give her uh, some prime rib. Can I get something to eat? And the reason I've got on my bounty hunter outfit is because it's time to do some bounty hunting. We're kind of late in the day already and <laughs> Sadie hasn't really done anything to actively make a lot of money. We've just been kind of killing O'Driscolls and feeding them to alligators the entire time. So I want to at least do something before we call it a day. Something productive. All right, get Sadie's classic carbine repeater out for this. All right, time to cook again, Sadie. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Just, just him left. Come on, Sadie, we got him, we got him, we got him. God, Sadie's, Sadie is such a badass. Oh my god, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Alright, is that all of them? Okay. Holy crap. Blood is tweaking. Don't die on me, bro. Come on, move him. Move him. Alright, there we go. Well, that's that bounty done. And now after a long day's work, nearly 8 p.m., we now return to camp. We worked, we worked really hard, Sadie. Good job. Now it's time to donate our fair share to the camp. I think I'm going to donate about maybe a 
$150. Not all of my money, but a decent amount. Still more than any of these other plebs are probably donating. Sadie is definitely the workhorse of the camp, that's for sure. I'll finish off my day with another cup of coffee. Because Sadie definitely strikes me as a caffeine addict. And I'll overlook the beautiful lake that we're camped by. But obviously I'll keep a healthy distance from all these other those other girls because, yeah, we don't like them. We're Sadie and we're introverted. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Around 11 p.m., we come back to our sleeping area and we'll call it a night. A day in the life of Sadie Adler. Uh, if you guys want to see me do this with more characters, just let me know in the comments section because I've got a lot of ideas. Volume. Is it better now? Whoa! Yo, get off me! Oh, oh hell no. Okay, chat, I'm out. Bro, did you hear those sound effects? 